Okay, cool. So we have this ready to modeling or for modeling. So I'm just gonna go to shapes and we can start from here. So I load the model here and it's gonna pop up with this uh, menu asking for the symmetry and so on. So it's gonna load like this and everything looks good. We have the already connected one. This is the one that transfer the animation from one uh, local rig to another one. So we're gonna keep it like that by default. It's active by default. We can have here this, this is gonna filter like, I think it's here where it's activated, where is the maximum. We have these these filters now here that tell us w what is it's been done, and this one it's gonna uh, just keep updated everything. So I'm just gonna be, leave it like that, and maybe just gonna keep like to see this green dot there, so we can see what is active. And before starting, I want to show you something first on the. Um, here on the evaluation we have the parallel so I usually um, used to deactivate the GPU override because it was uh, crashing on Maya 2018 and it was depending on which hardware and drivers configuration you had but it was like kind of unreliable so I just tend to um, deactivate it for vegan I mean it's safer in terms like less risky to crash the other thing is we use parallel and with parallel now I mean it's maybe with this it's not a big deal but let's go here on the display heads up display and here on the heads up display I like to have my evaluation that it's here I also like to have my frame rate that is there we have how much frames per second that's always good to have I like to have my object details, especially here, the object details, the most important or the most useful thing I have is the selected object. So sometimes I, you select and you don't realize that maybe something is selected and you can see here that it's two. You have other information that can be useful for other areas like rendering, like distance uh, from camera, things like that. But, and the other one is the, um, oh, we seen details, no, uh, where is it? Animation details, no. Um, no, maybe. Soft selection, no, it's not that one. Um, oh man, I always activate this every time that. Yeah, I think it's here. Animation details, current asset, overlay. This is the object detail. This one is a poly count. Uh, yeah, that poly count exactly. I like to have this here. I don't know. It's it's always like how I have my my head uh, displays here. But this most important is this one here. That is the one I was going in attention right now. So here um, we have this parallel evaluation. So every time we you see here is ready, but if I don't know if I can put it this again, but if I add a, like, let me add one blend shape, like something random here. I'm just gonna edit something. This is very big, like this. I just and exit. So okay, so it says ready. In the previous version, was saying um, if you change add blend shapes or oh wait a second, why well, didn't add my exit? Oh. Why is not adding my blend shape here? What's saying the? Let me check. I want that. I have all this. Very good. Exit. Oh, is there? It was not refreshing. Damn. Boom. Okay, so um, yeah, I think because maybe I deactivated this one here. Um, yeah, so let me let me check again. Edit. Yeah, now it's activated. Okay. Yep. Sorry for that. So basically, here every time I added a new blend shape, it was not saying like uh needs to recalculate something. So that let me see. I'm frame one. That's it. 
yeah now it's ready probably this is changed on 2020 so it's not needed but if you are in 2018 you maybe see here that it says needs re-evaluation and you need to move the frame and it's going to be ready and then it's going to be faster the evaluation but the first frame that's something that it was like 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 hiccup like a little bit there is because here in the parallel you need to um you need to update that so here okay it's new for me so it's not happening like i mean it's happening but it refresh automatically so i'm just gonna keep it like that but if you are in 18 maybe it's better to go to dg so you don't have this hiccup between frames because you add in a key um blend shapes each time and it needs to reevaluate. and the thing that that is happening is because technically when you change the blend shape when you add the new blend shapes you are changing your rig and it needs to analyze again your rig to create this um the evaluation state to uh, to be ready so if you don't if you don't re-evaluate the parallel needs to re i mean it needs to rescan to know what is in your rig and then it can parallelize everything that's the the thing because if you don't know what is happening in your rig it's not possible to to make it parallel so that's the reason because rescan but before was a bit on demand and now like looks like it's, it's more automatic so i'm just gonna keep it okay so now we just want to get rid of all these uh things. Let me oh, okay, here's the okay whoop, and delete. Okay, cool. So we are ready now for sure to start. I'm sorry, just waste six minutes on this. Amazing. Okay, so let's start. So we have the smile, we we can hide the, the curves here. So we have this. Obviously, this is not very natural. You don't do it like this unless you're Jim Carrey or something, someone like that. <laughs> but anyway, so we go for the first one, and we start modeling. So I like to use the um. This is the push. So let me let me see here. So I want the the one, and this is too strong. So I'm just gonna lower it a little bit. The old um what's called artisan brushes sometimes i use the new i use the new ones but i have the feeling that these old ones are more um i will say it, it feels better when it's not so high poly the the interaction but it's just maybe a matter of taste or just because i've been using the other ones so long so that i feel more confident with that the other thing it's um here the shading is not good and i just i forgot that. i'm gonna prepare that for the next video but i have like kind of a mac cap plugin that you can uh see better when you're modeling blend shapes here it's like um this uh default lumber material you can in the options in the new options here uh sculpt and use default material you can uncheck this it's gonna keep the current material but the other thing I like to do is just, oh no, go here and shade in and add like maybe a bling or something. So here, when you add the bling, you see the highlights. And this is better for uh, modeling. The other thing is I have a hotkey that I, I will share on uh, the Gumroad package that you can hide the uh, wireframe on selected objects. So means now it's more like a C brush modeling. So you can see a little better what you are doing here. So in this character, I would like to model maybe this wrinkle a little more and maybe um, push here. So as you can see, I don't see my wireframe that is good to have it in some situations. Like, and I have my hotkey that's, um, it's my control two in this case, but you can put it anywhere. Okay, so you can see the comparison between the old one that has this pinchy here and the new one. I mean, it's not super great. I'm not gonna pretend like to do super perfect plane shapes here because it takes time and it's gonna get boring, but we can, I mean, you can go after and do it, try to do as best as you can. And here you have this symmetrized. This is a new thing from this um, shapes version. So if you click here, pop, 
it's gonna make it symmetrical straight out of the, the modeling stage so it's really nice because I don't have here on this tool uh, set symmetrical but you can do it from there okay so watch it a little bit and the other thing I like to do is I have this well here it's not like super useful but I have my hotkey here to deactivate the lights because I don't have any or better to activate the lights and because I don't have any light it gets black and that it's also very helpful when you're working with silhouettes but here well maybe these three quarters you can see this this line here better so it's, it's a little thing I like to do Uh, well, I don't like this kind of brush here, but anyway, just gonna resymmetrize one, exit, and we have the first one, so it gets there. It's better, it's not awesome, but a little better. I don't know this one. Anyway, so this is gonna call mouth white. Okay, remember to always save. Uh, from time to time and always rename after each plane shape modeling later it's gonna be much more tedious to do it okay so I deactivate this one go for the next frame this is the narrow one and again just go in here again I'm just gonna here oh no just wanted to do something else and I pushed the wrong button Okay, smaller now. Just gonna smooth this. Smooth this. So here, you see these lines here, these uh, these polygons, these ones here that they have closer distance between them than the rest. This is to mark a little bit the lips uh, contour. So you want to keep this distance. So you don't want to have very mushy things and of course the way to do it is just take care of this and this is the move brush from shapes also I have hotkeys for everything just gonna push this so you need to care take care of that also you want to keep this uh, upper, uh, upper lip and lower lip loops consistent so you don't want to have this um, this offset like this that's not good so you want to have it as much in as better as possible and yeah something like that again I'm just smooshing this a lot and we can use another tool the DPK uh, brush to fix this so just gonna brush it a little bit just to have a little sense of where I'm going and again this should be This one here, no good. Just a smooth scene. From time to time, just remove this so I see where I'm going. And we can resymmetrize. So, see here, there's a peak there, so on. And of course, we can push it more like this. But I will not recommend it because there is when you change the, the speed. So if you want to go more, go with the control first and then add the, the corrective blend shape. But don't force the um, the movement with the blend shape. The blend shape should be to correct the position, not to, to increase or decrease the movement. Okay. And again, this is just pretty bad, but it's going to be good enough for the explanation okay so this is mouth narrow 
and I'm gonna check so I have from here to here it's not that that awful okay so I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna install some uh, the other dpk plugin and I'm gonna work uh, on this one to improve it a little bit with these um, these lines here that I get too much smooth and lost the consistency between blend shapes. Okay, see you in the next video.